While the conversation of older men dating younger women has always been in the mainstream news, the discussion has become heated because it has recently been confirmed that Khalees, you know Khalees? Mm -hmm. Milkshake. Milkshake, woman. yeah. 43 was confirmed to be dating actor Bill Murray, 73. Oh, Khalees is the ex-wife of rapper Nas and has three children, one with Nas and two with her deceased second husband. They are 30 years apart. Bill Murray has six children. Al Pacino is confirmed to be having his fourth child with a 29-year-old girlfriend. Robert De Niro had his seventh child with a partner, Tiffany Shen, who was 79 years old. George Lucas, the creator of Star Wars, had his last child at 69 years old with a woman that was 40. Mick Jagger of the Rolling Stone has had, had his last child at 73 with a woman that was 29 years old. So, City boys. City boys! <laughs> men are the prize, man. I just, I think, before I be, men are just the prize. And, and yeah, I just, it's, I just mean. So I'm going to get straight to you. Um... I'm gonna ask you T straight away. Actually, I'm gonna get to you. I'm gonna ask you because your face was screwing up when I was saying it. <laughs> <laughs> my face was like 29, 29. No, I don't have a T, problem with it. What is your view on women dating men that are significantly older? Does your opinion change if the woman wants to marry that man and have kids, or does your opinion change if that man has money and is accomplished? I think that if a woman is over 18 and is an adult um, and has the, you know, the mental capacity to make her own decisions. Then whether she wants to date somebody that's way older than her is is it's up to her. Yeah. It's up to some women prefer older men. They find them more mature. They they you know they it, it's, it's it's as long as nobody's dating anybody by force, then people so, should be free so to do that. So you decisions. don't you don't care about the age gap as long as they like consenting and they're adults. Yeah, as long as they're both consenting and they're adults, then I think people are free to do whatever they want to do. You know, most women, like older men, and it's been like that forever, even when every person here was younger, yeah. girls were always dating older guys. 100%. So that's not going to yeah, change as, as guys get more accomplished than everything else. Very common. Yeah, yeah. I think it's common in a lot of yeah. places, but there seems to be something where now there seems to be a, a big pushback. And it's, keep trying you, to shame you know why that is? They shame men. It's the people. Look at the people who are shaming the men. <laughs> look at the people who are shaming the men. And I, I don't mean to take a shot. I just mean that the people <laughs> who are the, sweet. the people who are shaming the men yeah. are usually women who aren't that age yeah. who have got something to say about it. Men don't care. Men think what? you can do whatever you why want. Do you think that is, Rob? Because they're past it and they hit the wall and they're like they can't do that anymore. The wall. Explain the wall. So. <laughs> That's well. The wall is like <laughs> okay. It all goes yeah. down to like a sexual marketplace value. Is what it's called. It's SM, usually SMV. SMV. Yeah, like exactly. SMV. So and can you explain people to what the sexual? Of course. So essentially, is. what you have happens is that um, women, when they're younger, they have lots of different options mm -hmm. because they're beautiful usually, and even if they're not beautiful, they still get options. Mm -hmm. uh, men, it takes a lot longer for us to develop, as we know. Some people, not me, have said that women are like milk and men are like wine and they age like that. That's what, not me, what, but I've heard what, someone what say that, that before. What that We're, means, brother? It, no, Meaning that you have an, it's just, it's, it's lame. Women have a set amount so, of time. So is that like fine wine versus spoiled milk? Yes. Yeah. I've heard people mention that. I haven't. <laughs> Savage, you know, I'm, I'm a feminist, you know. <laughs> <laughs> me too, me too. Me too. So, um, yeah, so essentially what happens is when women are younger, they have a lot of options, mm. which we can agree with. And it takes men a lot longer to hit their prime, which is usually 35 plus, let's mm. say. Yeah. So that means that those men who are in their prime, some of the men you've mentioned who are accomplished, successful and everything else, they want to date younger women because they can, because their pool is wide. So they can date literally women from 18 to 55, 60, whatever they, because that's their pool. Mm -hmm. But if you look at it the other way around, women who are say 18, 25, whatever it may be, yeah. they can date men 18 to 30, 18 yes. to 35. So it works both ways. So it's, yeah. it's a given pool. Mm -hmm. So I don't understand why is it that, well, I do understand when, uh, people are commenting on this it's usually women who aren't in that space anymore but when they were younger they were probably doing the same thing when they were 18 they were dating older guys so let these girls who are 20 do it and they also what annoys me about this specifically is the fact they always talk like they're like being coerced into doing it like it's so awful you know that do? you want to be of an older man who's a millionaire who's going to take you around the world and put you on a yacht let me tell you what they you're, say, you're right? being groomed no like this is what they say right they'll, be, they'll yeah, say stuff they'll, say they'll be like oh older men just want younger women yes so yes yes them. oh because um you know they, because their minds are not and they're not <laughs> their minds are not developed and you know they want <laughs> someone they can control and and you know what it is it's not that no we don't want someone we control you're right we don't want someone that's been Ran through. Ran through. We don't want someone with all that trauma. We don't want someone who's He's decided to go and give their best years to somebody else. And now they yeah. want to get mad and want to make it fair. Mm -hmm. um, before I go on, yeah, just I want to hear yeah, your thoughts on I, that. No, I saw something. I can't remember what it was. And it was basically saying, guys that usually go for younger women, 
is that when they were younger, mm. women weren't messing with them. That's true. So they were in heads in the books, mm. probably not very attractive, whatever. Mm. Yeah. That wasn't their best years. Mm. Once they've accomplished themselves and they've made their standing, mm. now they've got time to play. Yeah. So now they're attractive to women mm. because now they have something behind them. Some of them are going to have work done, made themselves more attractive. But sometimes, obviously, their money, their mm. net worth, their value makes them more attractive to mm. younger women. So they don't want to go for the 35 year, year old woman mm. like them because. Sorry, no, I'm good. They don't want to go for the 35 year old woman like them because when they were 18 and 15, they weren't interested. Mm. Yeah. No, I don't want you now. You didn't want me when I was 18. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go for the 25 year old. That's got time to play because now it's my playtime. Mm. I've made my money. I've done everything. And that's usually why the older guy is with the younger woman. And, and the younger woman wants a good life. And to be fair, no one's hating a... We could uh, Some people could argue that, oh, they're just being gold diggers. Guys don't say they're gold, um, their girls are gold diggers. Mm. They know that it's not just about money. Money plays a factor into yeah, it. big factor. But social status, like it was Al Pacino, Robert De Niro, Mick yeah. Jagger. These are big, big names. These are accomplished men. They have high social status. My, Mick Jagger is not an attractive man. Like, but he's the lead singer of a band, one of the biggest bands in the world. He could have any woman he wants. That is attractive to women. Obviously, so, as money comes so up, for example, as well. Mick Jagger's 73, right? Mm. He had a baby with a woman that's 29 years I old. I can't believe you're still firing at 73. <laughs> what do you mean? Them are not firing at all cylinders, yeah. fam. No, but they're not blanks. No, because... <laughs> do you know why? <laughs> because there seems to be something, and this is that thing where I think it's... Um, it's quite a Western <laughs> way of thinking because if you come to tradition, men are produced to 80s. You know what I mean? There's a lot of places in the world like men father into their lates, right? So this thing where women typically have to get their life better, um, organized a lot earlier than men. Right? And that's how, that's that's the way it's always been. The bi biological clock is it, it, it's, it's set, right? So the reason why we talk about women's best years between 18 to 28, they never like to hear it, but it is exactly what it what it is. Those are your 10 years where the world moves for you, where when you pull up, you you know, you don't pay for anything. You will get proposals when that time. You have good guys that want to date you, bad boys. You have the pick of the litter, right? And that's when really and truly you're supposed to use your beauty, use whatever to get yourself the best guy and then to kind of get, get on out of here. And the problem happens is the women that, don't want to look at the guys in the you know in their teens and the 20s the guys that they can build with they don't want to see them they want to chase after all the guys with the big whips the guys with the ice the guys that pop in the bottles the guys in the festival that can do all of these types of things that's fine mm -hmm. but these guys don't tend to be the types of guys that are going to wife you'll take you for a long term so what happens is the guys that are are, are you know are x out of this the ones they want to call incels when they're really not incels but if you don't want to if you don't want to interact with these men, yes, you make them involuntarily celibate because you don't, you don't see these men, right? So what do they do? They go and build, they go and do all these types of things while you spend the next 10 years bouncing, going on trips, having mm. situationships, having traumas, having, and then some of you might pick up babies, right? And mm. then what happens at the end of it? You become 28, 30, and now mm. you have a disdain for men. You talk about trauma, you talk okay. about all, but all you're showing to me is what you've done for the last 10 years. Yeah. And now you might meet a man that's actually a good guy and he wants to get on, he wants to get out of here and he might have seen potential, but you can't move. You can't, because you've spent the last 10 years, you don't know what it is when you see a good man now. You know what I'm trying to say to you? By that time, you're so traumatized. Um, but, you have so much oh, emotional right. baggage that you... I know this sounds crazy, but can someone explain to me what trauma is? Because that word gets thrown around quite a lot. So I'm just trying to understand because my understanding of trauma is different. That, 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 that um, we're currently speaking about. So for example, in their prime, mm -hmm. um, they're dating this one, they're dating that one. Mm -hmm. They're going through heartbreaks. They're going through breakups. They're going through, uh, they've been cheated on. They've ha have had kids and now they're single mothers. Like each relationship you go through mm -hmm. and each breakup, each heartbreak, each cheating, each child, that's, emotional baggage mm -hmm. that's trauma that's what you call trauma mm -hmm. so by the time you you, you do, any man you do meet you're gonna be like well no i don't trust you because my my, my past partner did it done this to me mm -hmm. or you know how can i trust you no you're gonna do the same you're gonna cheat because my ex cheated like you're gonna carry that trauma with you into your into any relationship that you go into. Mm -hmm. I think I think it's used quite. Oh, I understand yeah. what you're saying, but I do think it's used quite loosely okay. because. Okay, look, the, all right. so the, let me let me mm. let me. So the for word example, trauma wait, wait. Go together. So what is trauma? Trauma, trauma is a, is, a, is a. 
no, I, I think of I think of some form. It, that's trauma as well. That's yeah. trauma. Yeah. Anything that psychologically. Okay, so so to, sorry to counter that quickly. Yeah. So let's say there's three men here, right? Mm -hmm. So let's say we've all had girlfriends before mm -hmm. and they've cheated on us, and we've gone with um, other girls and they were bad to us. So now we've all got trauma, yeah. yeah. But people don't want to hear about that. People don't care. People don't care about men's trauma. I'm not saying that's the case. They don't but care. Right here, but I we just have to deal with it and no, build it and build from it. Do you care about men's trauma? I care about men's, men's trauma. Yes, 100%. Mm -hmm. you know, actually, look, this is the problem that we keep doing. We keep going by gender. Men's trauma. But we're different. Trauma. So it has to be different. Yeah, yeah. We are different. Even, so even though we're different, we are humans. Mm -hmm. We're still humans. We yeah. still both experience trauma. But when's the last but time women... You know, you know like believe it or not, yeah. I, for me personally, I, I think that when a man it is, is heartbroken... He's actually more trauma and feels more pain than a woman does. Yeah. They take longer to get over. Yeah, it takes longer. For example, when a man, yeah, when a man it. loves, mm. he loves mm. hard. When a man loves, he loves hard. Yeah. Mm. When he's married you and he's had a child of you, mm. he he's he's looked at you as his future, his mm. everything. With a woman, but women are like you said, especially in the, in the, they think to themselves, "I don't need you," because they're they're brainwashed, they're pro 